The Allegory of the Cave by the Greek philosopher Plato. In the story, there is a group of prisoners who have been chained up their whole lives. They see shadows of things passing in front of the fire behind them, but they are not sure if these objects are real or not. This allegory helps show the prisoners struggle to see the reality behind illusion. The prisoners would become enlightened if they went into the real world and saw light instead of darkness. We will now describe a time when we were enlightened, which can compare to Plato's allegory in some ways. I once had an enlightenment that is comparable to how the chained prisoners struggle to perceive reality. I had a scary dream involving my family. In the moment, it seemed so real, but then I woke up. When I opened my eyes, I was able to separate my imagination from reality and realized it was just a dream. I was relieved to return to the previously unenlightened place, which happened to be my consciousness. This relates to Plato's allegory because for a short time I thought that what I was imagining was really true. The prisoners that were chained up had the same problem, perceiving what they saw from what was truly happening. A personal experience which enlightened me in a big way was the health issues of my grandfather over the last five years. During that time, he had three separate heart issues that were considered major and all needed to be operated on during the times. Once in 2010, once in 2012, and another time last year. All three times, as I said, he was close to death. And the doctors, at some points, didn't think that he would make it out alive due to the severity of the issue. So during those rough times in my life, I turned to prayer. And every time that an operation went well, and the doctors gave the good news saying, oh, he would survive, we had hope. And we were enlightened and inspired by the good news and figured, oh, we have good luck in our lives and he'll be okay, we'll be okay. And then comes the next time and the, all the hope is gone and we're back down where we started. But knowing that our prayers worked last time, we continue what we did and ultimately he came out on top of the illness again. And then the third time came around, we figured, oh, it's not as severe as the other two. He can definitely beat this. We kept the prayers going. We were enlightened, inspired that God would help us through these tough times. And as of today, he's 100% perfect. And that is what enlightened me, that God could use his powers to heal a person that made it through three near-death experiences and now is in great, great health and doing well. In our two personal stories of enlightenment, we were taken out of the darkness and into the light. Our eyes were open to the true world around us and to all that happened. We saw the actions of God acting on the world around us, and we noticed how blessed we truly were. We became enlightened just like the prisoner who escaped in the allegory of the cave. When the prisoner escaped, he was able to see life in a different way than before and realize all that he has missed when he was in darkness.